Welcome to the Network Engineering Video Blog. I am your host, Michael Crane. Well, I was on the um, uh, LinkedIn IoT group uh, the other day, and um, I, I, I made a comment to a posting from uh, Aero Electronics, and, and I had mentioned how much I liked their free shipping, and, and also made mention that I thought their website was clunky. And clunky to me is not a very descriptive, and they, you know, they are nice enough to say, well, we'll check into it, but, you know, they're going to hand clunky to an engineer, and he's going to say, well, I don't know what they're talking about. So I thought I would go ahead and make a quick video uh, just showing them. Oh, I, I also um, I also made a comparison. I said, well, go look at DigiKeys and, and look at yours and, and uh, you know, do the comparison. And so anyway, I thought I would do that for them real quick and, and, um, and kind of show you what I'm talking about. Uh, and this is not so much just a beat up on Arrow. I, I like Arrow. I love their free shipping. So, um, uh, this is more just as a, uh, a clarification video to show them what I'm talking about and maybe they'll fix it. Um, if I didn't like the company, I would, um, I would just ignore them. Um, but I do, so I'm here to help. So well, let's get started. So the first thing I do is um, I'm already logged into my last pass. So, and this is usually the way I go to uh, electronic websites. So let's see, www.arrow.com. And this one's going to be www.digikey.com. Oh, by the way, I, I did... I flushed my um, history out uh, because I could not figure out how to log out of Arrow. Um, and <laughs> so uh, anyway, so, okay, so both of them look like they're they're finally up. I don't know, DigiKey is still sitting there chugging away. But, you know, they load a bunch of junk up, both of them do, which is just super annoying. It makes the web pages load real slow. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and log into Arrow. Uh, click on the log in there. And, um, all right. I get this log in. Okay, so that was, um, that was pretty painless. I logged into Arrow. Okay, and I'm going to go over here to, um, DigiKey and log into DigiKey. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. So, yeah, okay. So, uh, you know, we, uh, when I first logged into Arrow, um, I just get this, hello, Michael, right? Um, and when I log into DigiKey, it takes me right to, um, my recent orders, which is what I really want. Um, but let's go down and uh, look at uh, arrows real quick. Maybe it's it's somewhere, you know, in this wash of um, uh, ads and uh, my projects. I don't have any projects. Arrow calls and videos. Load more. I don't. No, I. I want to find my. Um, my recent order. So I'm going to click on my name here. And well, that did nothing. Um, is it in my cart? Um, nope. I don't see it in there. Order summary, secure checkout. It's not in my cart. Let's see here. Is it in my arrow? My arrow is for registered users only. Well, I actually just logged in <laughs> I'm registered I even when I uh, made an order I even signed up for some uh, you know email bulletins um, so I, I I don't know I could try creating another account but but you, you kind of see where I'm going with this where in the world I mean I'm already logged in um, I don't know what other registration I I need to uh, to do but um um 
Our promotion of success register for our newsletter. Yeah, so I signed up for this newsletter. Yeah, and uh, I'm logged in. Knows my name. But where in the world are my orders? Uh, I, I cannot find them. It's, it's not underneath this little menu thing. Products, data sheets, reference design, um, contact us, currency, English, live support. Uh, I can't find it. And, and I did order it. So I pulled up my email. Here's my email. Here's the, uh, the 29 cent diode I bought. You know, two cents tax, free shipping. It was wonderful. Great. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, that, that is, that is, they're, they're not going to be able to continue this, I doubt, because that's, you know, especially with people like me ordering 29 cent parts. So, yeah, I, I, I cannot find my, um, my recent orders anywhere on this site. And, and I guess I could try signing up again. I, I don't know what this My Arrow thing is, but, so Arrow developers, this is this to me is is confusing and unusable. Uh, I'm already logged in, and now it's asked me. And I also signed up for this this newsletter too when I created my account, my login, and I'm supposed to create another account. Of, I mean, what's going on with this? Um, so I, I I am truly baffled uh, with with this. Um, you know, Digikey, I mean, it dumps you right into your recent orders. I mean, this is great. It's got them back all the way to the <laughs> to 2014. So, and by the way, I wanted to show you, I'm using uh, Firefox. It should be fairly new, 53.0.2. Uh, but yeah, it's not working. I, I haven't actually tried this with uh, Chrome or anything else. But uh, but yeah, I, I this this does nothing. Um, I guess I could try it with Chrome, but but I expect to be able to, to click on this and get my uh, you know account information and change it, and but I, I get nothing. So I, I it's I, I don't know what to do with this thing. So okay, so now instead of just saying okay and click on my last order and say reorder that diode, I have to go you know looking around for the thing again, and so I just put in B. Let's see, 240A is the is the diode. I, I can do it in both of these. They're they're both about the same speed, and they all of them, Mauser and Digikey and all these guys, and Arrow. You know, they they try to to make the filtering as as painless as possible. Okay, so uh, you know this is better. You know, B240A actually pulls up a list of diodes, whereas. Um, uh, B240A, you know, pulls up a, a list of lists, <laughs> a list of lists, and uh, this one actually pulled up a, a list of diodes. Very good. So I'm going to click on the filters here, and this is kind of a thing with um, Arrow. If, if say I have the screen so narrow that it it doesn't pull up a filter like that. If I widen the screen, it will, but. And this seems to be okay. This is kind of a goofy little. It's probably made so you can use it on a, on a, cell phone or something. That's the one bad thing about the DigiKey site is it's, uh, it doesn't work very good on a cell phone. So okay, now we're down to fourteen and seventeen, and um, um, yeah. So now we just go to. Uh, uh, so this is a nice thing about um, DigiKey that I haven't found. Oh well, let's see. So we we want them in stock. Let's see, apply. And I think I already did in stock with this. Okay, so now we got nine. And um, so now you know the minimum quantity or. Oh, uh oh, what happened? Um, so now we want to, uh, I just want to buy one. So filter in stock. Okay. We've done that manufacturer name, connectors, diodes. Uh, well, I guess that's it. That's all the, the filtering select a category will provide you with more filters. Okay. Um, well, I just want to see 
the ones where I can just buy one. Uh, I don't see it. So, yeah, minimum quantity, that's what I'm looking for. And so over here on the DigiKey webpage, you can, um, you can enter this, this minimum quantity. I, yeah, so we can just put one in here and hit enter and, and uh, that'll chug away because my video capturing software is chewing up every bit of CPU and Firefox is chewing up the rest. Uh, I mean, they're, they're, they're both okay. I mean, I guess the minimum quantity would be nice to eliminate this minimum 5,000. This is the number in stock. Okay, well, yeah, you can see how it, um, it gave you the regular type search parameters. Yeah, so I bought this one. But see, I, I, if I didn't have that email... I would have not known. 49, 52, or 28. That's that's pretty good. So, um, yeah. So, here's where the big difference is. So, let's say I, you know, I want to buy this guy from, from uh, DigiKey. And I want to buy this guy from... Oops. Minimum order quantity not reached. Oh. Well. Yeah, see, that's that's kind of annoying. It's like, buy. <laughs> you know, minimum one. I can always change it later. Okay, and then I come over. So, DigiKey's already populated it with one. I can just add it to the cart. Um, I don't see anything in the cart. So, let's try that again. I'm going to try to buy that. So we got to put one in here. Okay, buy. All right, and did I put it in my cart? Ah, oh, there it is. And like I said, don't don't hold these web the slowness of these websites is not because of uh, the website. It's because of my laptop and the capture software. So we're going to look inside my cart here, maybe. Well, let's try the DigiKey cart. One item. View cart. And we still haven't been able to get into the arrows cart. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this. I'm going to have to stop the capture software, but it does work. Um, believe me, I, I I don't know why it's not working now, but um, it does work. And and uh, let me let me. I'm going to do. I'm going to stop the capture software and get to the card. I, I think it's really causing us grief here. Okay, well, I figured out what the problem was with um, the Arrow website, and it actually wasn't because of my capturing software. Um, so I click on it, right, and it's not doing anything. It kind of grays the screen, but I see nothing. But watch when I open the window up. Aha, there it is. It, uh, it didn't like being shrunk down like that. Um, so they're, yeah, they're gonna, I think that's a little bug in their, their website. So anyway, let's go to the view cart and, uh, that, that's a minor thing. It's, I don't know how it would work on a mobile device. Maybe if I squished it in more, it would, maybe I'm just at a weird sweet spot where it just, um, um, uh oh, oh, it's still, it's, uh, my capture software is just driving this thing nuts so okay yeah here's here's where the uh the big difference between arrow and digikey is right now it has nothing to do with their website but look at this so my uh 28 cent part um i can um have it fedex express saver i have no idea what that means uh, when i ordered it last time it showed up in about seven days or ground server but look zero zero dollars but look at look at if you're at digikey 
Um, the cheapest one they have, I, I thought they had, oh, here you go. So they have a first class mail, which as long as it fits, they'll stick it in the first class mail for you. But it's still, uh, you know, three dollars and forty cents uh, to ship the twenty-eight cent part. So, uh, uh, yeah, their default is this FedEx ground. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, the cheapest you can get it from DigiKey is nine dollars, and from Arrow at zero. So, so, yeah, thumbs up, Arrow. That is that is great. Anyway, um, that's about it. I. I just wanted to uh, to show you the difference between the twos and the two. <laughs> I wanted to show you the difference between the two and and why I called the the site clunky. And, and the biggest thing is really is um, is this order history business login. I don't get it. Please explain. Anyway, uh, hope you liked that video, and I'll see you later.